And let's begin with a, a Facebook question that we got from Jimmy. What did Jesus mean when in the Sermon on the Mount he said, you have heard that you have heard it said, but I say to you, is Jesus doing away with the law? Hmm. Good question, Jimmy. Um, well, first of all, we're meant to hear the Sermon on the Mount with the echo of Moses delivering his sermon from Mount Sinai as he returned with God's law. And, uh, already, uh, even before Jesus opens his mouth, the setting is pretty clear. Jesus is the prophet greater than Moses. Next, we notice that while Moses simply passed on what he heard from God on top of that mountain, Jesus addresses the crowd as the God who spoke to Moses on that mountain. So when he says, you have heard it said, but I say, he's actually quoting Leviticus uh, and, and Deuteronomy. He, but what he's quoting are the ceremonial and civil laws of Israel. And he's saying, basically, the old covenant is over. The covenant of which Moses was the mediator, attached to Mount Sinai when, he gave, when God gave the law, that covenant is, is gone. I am fulfilling the law. I am not only the prophet who delivers God's law, I am God's word incarnate. And so I'm telling you that uh, I'm take it's regime change. I, I am the mediator of this covenant, not Moses. Uh, in, the, in, in the Old Testament, the church was also a nation. It was a geopolitical state with a literal plot of land and a capital in Jerusalem. Uh, but now, as I say, it's regime change. The kingdom is headquartered in heaven and is now present on earth in the person of Jesus himself. He is the king. He is the king of Israel that Israel rejected. Remember, Israel rejected having a king. They wanted a king like the nations. They rejected God as their king. They wanted, they wanted a human king. And now God becomes incarnate and says, I am the king. And, you know, to, whoever, to whomever receives him, Jew or Gentile, uh, he gives the right to become the children of God, the citizens of the kingdom. And so uh, Jesus wasn't saying that the first half of the movie was all wrong, the Old Covenant, in other words. He's saying that it was all along setting things up for the climax in the second half. Jesus is the prophet, priest, and king of Israel. He's the mighty warrior who trampled Satan and his minions underfoot. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So he's greater than Moses. He is God. When he says, you've heard it said, but I say, he is the one who has the authority because in the first place, as I say, he's the one who gave the law to Moses. He is God. It's so funny because sometimes you hear people say things like, well, you know, Jesus never claimed to be God. Not, not clearly. <laughs> now, of course, actually all over the place, he did make statements like, before Abraham was, I am, John 8, 58, and, and Paul, you know, in, in Romans 9, 5, all calls him the, the great yeah. God. But you also have so many instances like this in the New Testament where Jesus acts in ways and says things that I am God. Make him yeah. very clearly out to be the Lord of his people. Yep. And we, we, we often skip over. I don't think that many people would look at that phrase there or that text of Scripture and say, oh, this is a great passage to go to for the deity of Christ, but it really is. It really is. And he doesn't say, you have heard it said, love your neighbor as yourself, but I say, don't. <laughs> he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, um, he doesn't cut the moral law out of Torah and throw it away. What he is saying is all of the other laws governing the, the theocracy, the political theocracy are over. Instead of, instead of driving the Canaanites and the Hittites and the termites out of the land, uh, you're to just live alongside pagans and endure persecution and pray for them. It's regime change. It's different. It, this is the space for, for God to uh, have his word proclaimed to all nations so that people can come from the Gentile world as well as the Jewish world to the foot of Jesus and, and receive mercy at his hand. This is not the time of judgment. This is the time for mercy. And, and therefore, all of those commands in the Old Covenant to... to to drive out 
uh, the idolaters from the land are over. There is no holy land. All land is common. And now the gospel goes to the end of the nations, but when Jesus returns, you want to talk about a cleansing of the land. Mm. When he returns, it will be the final and complete fulfillment of what was only a type and shadow under the law. 